The purpose of this tutorial is to give you an overview of NWEA's new web-based map system. The new web-based map is different than the old version because it allows you as the teacher to add and edit students as needed, proctor from a single teacher device with internet access, whether that be a laptop, a desktop, or even a smartphone, and access reports instantaneously as students finish testing. Once you're ready to begin using the web-based map, look for an email from NWEA. The subject line will say, Welcome to NWEA's Measures of Academic Progress. Within this email, you will be given a username, which is your district email address, followed by a temporary password, and a link to access the web-based site. Once you log in for the first time, you'll be prompted to change your temporary password. You can also access the MAP Report site by going to our district homepage, selecting Four Teachers, and going to the MAP Report site link. When you log in, you will be taken to a dashboard that looks similar to this. There's a lot of useful information for you at the bottom, including tutorials for brief overviews or test warm-ups. There's a test warm-up for the primary grades assessments as well as the assessments for grades 2 to 8. If you're ready to begin testing students, you will use the link on the left navigation bar that says Manage Test Sessions. From here, you'll have three options. Your first option is to find students to test. This will allow you to select individual students by searching for their name and browsing to find students and select them to add them to, the, to your list. You can also choose to select your entire class by clicking the Test My Class button. This will allow you to test your entire reading or math section. Finally, if you had saved a test session or someone created a test session for you, it will appear here in this list below. You can select the checkbox and choose to test now. If you are just going to test your class, click the Test My Class button to begin. Each time you create a new test session, you will be given a session name and password. The students will need this in order to log on to your session. The names of the students within this session are listed here below. If you notice that any students are missing, select the Add More Students button and search for the students' names. Save and return to testing once you've found all of the missing students. Contact your team leader if you notice that any students have not been rostered. Once you've assigned all of your students to the session, you will need to assign them a test. Check the boxes next to their name and select Assign Tests. From here, a drop-down menu will appear of available tests. During the fall, winter, and spring testing sessions, you will select from these tests here above. There's a primary grades, two to five, and sixth grade and up assessment for math and reading. There's also screening, skills checklists, and surveys available for other times of the year, such as when new students enter, or if you just wanted a, a brief glance to see how students are performing between testing sessions. Once you've selected an assessment and assigned it to students, it will appear next to their name. Now, we need to go to the, the student's dashboard and see their view. This is what the lockdown browser will look like on a student device. If you are using a regular Windows-based laptop to test students, there will be an icon on your desktop, on their desktop, that says lockdown browser that you can open and type in the test session name and password. Using a Chromebook, this lockdown browser should be a saved link. However, if you do not see it listed there with all of the website, saved websites, simply type in npd117-test.mapnwea.org and it will take you to this browser. Unlike a Windows laptop, the Chromebook will not have the ability to lock down the student's testing session, meaning they will be able to open other apps and browser windows if they are not monitored. Once the student's test session and password have been entered, they will need to begin typing in their name, and it will autofill. When a name is selected, 
the test that they have been assigned will appear here in the space and they can select next. It will ask them to verify that their personal information is correct before selecting yes. Then they will need to wait for you as the proctor to confirm their information. At this point, you will need to refresh the status and see that it appears to be waiting to be confirmed next to the student's name. Check the checkbox next to the student's names that are ready to be confirmed and select the Confirm Now button. Once the student is confirmed, it will prompt them to begin starting the test. If you continue to refresh their screen, your screen, you will see that the status next to the student's name changes. If at any point the student needs to stop testing, check the box next to their name and go to the action menu. Here, you can pause a student for up to 30 minutes and resume them again when they return. And if the student needs to stop testing for longer than 30 minutes, you can suspend their test for up to 28 days before resuming. Please note that terminating a student's test makes it so that you stop their test without the option to resume. The student will not be able to take this test again until the next testing season, so only use terminate session in extreme instances. If a student finishes testing, but you'd like them to start the test again, select the test again option. All of this proctoring can be done from your teacher station. Please note that you will not be able to select the End Testing Session button until all of the students have finished testing. If you need to end this testing, testing session temporarily, but not all of your students are finished testing, select Suspend next to their name, and then select End Testing Session. Save that testing session and exit so that you can access it later. The next time you go to the Manage Test Sessions button, select the Show link under Save Testing Sessions, and here you can select a Save Testing Session and resume it by selecting Test Now. Once your students have finished testing, reports for them are generated instantaneously. You can access those reports on the left, nav left na side navigation menu under View Reports and Instructional Resources, Map Reports. The reports available to you will be listed here in the middle. Just so you have a brief overview of a few of these reports, the Achievement Status and Growth Report will allow you to see projected proficiencies between the fall and winter, fall and spring, or fall and fall, depending on your selection. It will give you their projected RIT score, and once the student has tested in another testing season, it will let you know whether they met their growth target. Overall percentages for your class will be displayed at the bottom. The Student Goal Setting Worksheet will allow you to see how the student performed on each of the subskills of the Math and Reading Assessment. Depending on your selection, it will also give you a projected RIT score for winter or spring. With the student and or the parent, you can decide on a goal. The class breakdown by goal report will allow you to see at a glance who is performing in each of these RIT ranges according to each of these subskills on the assessment. This is the lower bracket of RIT ranges and this is the highest. Each of the students are listed in the middle followed by their RIT scores. The class breakdown by projected proficiency report will allow you to see who is projected to perform at an unsatisfactory, partially proficient, proficient, or advanced level on the next MAP assessment. This tutorial has been intended to show you how to use your new web-based MAP dashboard to test students and view reports.